here with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it. And if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable. Let's begin. This story would begin at the end of the battle against the legendary Saiyan Broly. Several months had passed since that battle, but in all this time, the God Destroyer Beerus was very thoughtful. Mr. Beerus, what's wrong? I haven't noticed that you're very pensive. Is something wrong with you? I'm thinking about the Saiyans Goku and Broly. What's wrong with them, Mr. Beerus? Goku's power surpassed uh, most of the God Destroyers with the Ultra Instinct, but Broly's power even surpassed Goku by the most worrisome thing. That is, Broly doesn't control his legendary power. You are correct, Mr. Beerus. Do you want to train the Saiyan Broly? No, Wiss. What I really want is to put an end to those two annoyances. Because of Son Goku, we were involved in the problem of the power tournament. Mr. Beerus, did you forget that Son Goku is the only friend of the King of Everything? Of course not, Wiss. That's why I'm thinking. I don't know what I should do. At that moment, a guy would arrive to the planet. So much had been his power that neither Beerus nor Wiss had felt his power. Well, apparently after millions of years, we see each other again, Beerus. Beerus would turn to observe where the voice was coming from, but at the moment he recognized Moro. Beerus and Wiss changed their expression to a much more serious and worried one. Moro, how the hell are you in this place? It's a long story, but I was able to recover a part of my powers, although my current power does not even compare to half the power I once possessed. Moro, former destroyer of universes, or better known as the Angel of Death, what do you have to offer in Universe 7? Don't worry, Mr. Wiss. I just found your conversation interesting. I can help you if you wish. How can you help us? As you remember, I possess one of the most powerful mental powers in the multiverse. If I gather great power, I can create false memories in Daishenken and Xenosama. I hear you. Go on. What kind of memories? So they won't go on so suspicious. We can lock them in some other dimension and tell Xenosama's dwarf that he got locked up. Your plan is wonderful, but if the King of Everything sends the High Priest to free Son Goku... Don't be in a hurry, Beerus. Everything is calculated. In the place where we'll lock them up, we will put this. Moro would take out a broken sword from an energy sphere. What's that supposed to be? Is that what I think it is? Apparently you remember it, Wiss. After all, it is information that only angels possess. What is it, Wiss? That is a cursed seal. Its negative energy is so much that not even a king is able to escape from the place where the seal is placed. And if any being from the outside wants to remove it, it will be disintegrated. Excellent. Then, what are we waiting for? Let's do it immediately. I can't allow Son Goku and Saiyan Broly to become more powerful. But what will you gain? You'll know that later. But for now, I will leave this place. Moro would open a portal and enter the portal and disappear without a trace. Wiss and Beerus would quickly go to planet Earth, arriving in approximately 27 minutes. Both would arrive at Bulma's house. Mr. Wiss, Mr. Beerus, long time no see. I'll bring you something to eat. This is not the time for that. I need to have a meeting with all the Z warriors except for Son Goku. Bulma, noticing that Mr. Beerus was very serious, would organize the meeting immediately. At the moment that all the warriors arrived, Beerus would begin to speak. I've been thinking about Son Goku and Saiyan Broly, and I've decided to lock them in the time room. But what are you saying? My father saved us in the exhibition tournament. Tournament that he created. Vegeta, don't you want to be the number one of Universe 7? From what I have investigated, I have been able to realize that all the warriors that have appeared come to this planet because of Mr. Goku. They were all discussing the subject, and after two hours of talking, they all agreed to lock Son Goku in the time room. I hope you are ready. We'll attack Son Goku right now. Whis, locate Goku right now. Whis would look in his staff. I got it, Mr. Beerus. Mr. Goku is on planet of the Saiyan Broly. The bow's training. I can't allow this. Today, we will exterminate with that plague. Everyone would leave towards Broly's planet. They'd all arrive in a few moments. When they arrived, Goku would approach. Hello, friends. Long time no see. 
Goku was not able to finish his sentence because, at that very moment, the God Destroyer Beerus would give him a furtive blow, sending him crashing into the mountains that were around him. Attack! Don't let them transform! Vegeta would throw himself against Broly, as well as Gohan. Both were putting in trouble the Saiyan, who was at the base mode. Beerus would rush against Son Goku, however, Goku was able to pass into Super Saiyan Blue maximum power, hitting him back, and also would make him fall into the ground, creating a large crater. I don't know what's happened to them, but they intend to kill us! I won't let them do it! Goku, at an incredible speed, was able to give a few blows to Vegeta and Gohan. Broly, it's time! Don't hold back! If we don't fight with everything we have, this will be the end of us! Broly would begin to transform into the legendary Super Saiyan. The whole planet was being affected due to such an increase of power. Lava was coming out from all over the planet until Broly had finished his transformation. Launching an attack against the first guy he saw, and that's right, Broly launched himself against Beerus, who was covering his body, but the power was so much that it would send him a few meters back. I didn't want this to happen. That it was a simple Saiyan who would come close to the power of a god. Beerus would release all his power, launching himself against Broly. Goku and Vegeta began with a very close battle. At that very moment, Gohan was not able to do anything because he didn't have enough power. Gohan would be filled with anger and impotence. Being able to reach the beast mode for the first time, everyone would turn to observe the new transformation of Gohan. His power is to finish you, father! I hope you're ready! Gohan would throw himself in support of Vegeta, who was getting more and more injured by Son Goku's blows. While the three of them were exchanging blows, Goku would say to them, Why are you doing this to me and Broly? What have we done? Because you are new enemies and are always coming. Because of you, Trunks' future was destroyed by Xenosama. In the battle with Cell, you never had any intentions of helping me. You're not a good father, and I don't want you to be in my daughter's growth! I don't want her to know that her grandfather is a monster! Goku was so hurt by the words of his son Gohan that even his neglected his defense a little, being hit by Vegeta and Gohan. At that moment, he would charge a powerful Manakasapo. That power left Goku on the verge of death. And that he would return to his base state. Meanwhile, with the Battle of Beerus, Broly would be giving a beating to the most powerful destroyer god of the Twelve Universes. That's why I was worried about you damn Saiyans. But let's see how you like this. Check out my new transformation. The power of Beerus began to rise in an incredible way. That's right, the power god Beerus was transforming, making the entire Universe 7 shudder for a, such a bestial power. Broly would be a little surprised by the pressure that Beerus released, but without caring so much, Broly would launch the attack being able to hit him with a blow in his face. But Beerus would not move an inch. I realize that your power is nothing with my true power. Beerus would begin to massacre Broly with blows, making him fall to the ground again and again. Broly on the ground badly wounded could no longer do anything against the god Beerus, who would rise up to the top of the planet and begin to charge a large sphere of destructive energy. Beerus would launch such a bestial power. However, to everyone's surprise, Broly was able to stop all that power. I'll not die here. I swear I'll finish you with my own hands, you damn cat! You don't have enough power to back up your words. Beerus's attack would explode, creating an impressive explosion. Such an explosion would make everything around him be destroyed. And when the smoke dissipated, the powerful Broly would still be standing. But at that moment, he would fall to the ground out of combat. It's time, Wiss. Let's take them to the room. Wiss would take all those present, leaving to the temple of Kamiyasama. At that moment, Wiss would modify the room, making it much more resistant and powerful. Beerus would throw both Saiyans inside. At the moment, leaving Beerus would destroy the entrance. Wiss, activate the seal. As ordered by Beerus-sama. Wiss would begin to recite some strange words in the language of the gods. At that moment, the sword would become a dark energy in the form of a barrier covering all the room that Wiss had mentioned. We finally got rid of those bastards. It won't be a headache anymore. Wiss and Beerus would return to their planet. 
Meanwhile, with more, he had observed everything from a crystal sphere. <laughs> Damn cat, you fell into my trap. Now there's two Saiyans to protect this universe, they won't be able to stop me. Only those two were able to do it, as one had the blood of the Saiyan God while the other possessed the unlimited power of the legendary Yamoshi. Moro would stand up and create a technique in the palm of his hand. With the power granted to me by my negative energy, I, Moro, I wish the king of everything and Daishenken to believe that Son Goku is training in a very special dimension and has destroyed the entrance and is locked in forever. That ball of energy would come out as a great speed to the palace of the king of everything, Zeno-sama. At that moment, the new memories that Mora had created had been introduced in the most powerful beings of all this multiverse. Finally, my plan will begin. To take over this multiverse, and nothing, and nobody will be able to avoid it. Returning to the dimension of time, Goku and Broly had already awakened, but both were very badly wounded. That's right, the power they had used in both had too much, and so much that even for their warrior bodies, they couldn't heal their wounds. However, at that moment, a voice would sound throughout the place. I will help you get out of this place and to recover. Both Saiyans had healed all their wounds, but something to notice was the powerful Zenkai that both of them had, since the power had increased in an impressive way. Thank you very much for healing us! Uh, but who are you? I am the creator of the Super Dragon Balls. My name is Zarma. Go could be surprised to know that the creator of the Super Dragon Balls had helped them. They must become much more powerful because in order for them to get out of here, their power must surpass the power of a king of all. Don't worry about that. Broly and I will become very powerful. I swear, I will end the life of that wretched cow myself. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video.